welcome back guys uh, here we'll be seeing an example of uh, how normal cells are becoming cancer cells by just turning their uh, cell division process in super power or super speed rather we can say now here uh, it's an example of retinoblastoma which is a gene which is causing the hereditary cancer above 90 percent penetration level now what happens in this case we are going to see the uh, genetic level process or we are going to see uh, the process during the transcription or uh, expression of the protein. Now here uh, it is the DNA and on in, in onto the DNA two proteins E2F and PRB. Now this retinoblastoma protein uh, is uh, caught by this E2F. So E2F attached with retinoblastoma protein to make a complex. Now this complex inactivates E2F. So E2F is a protein. If this protein is activated it will start producing some other type of proteins that will eventually help to transfer from the stage of G1 to S. So that means the cell cycle will begin. So E2F is a growth regulatory factor here. Now E2F can trigger the growth of a cell, can trigger the division of a cell. Now in normal conditions when we don't need the cell to divide then this E2F is blocked the activity of E2S, E2F is blocked by retinoblastoma protein which is blue in color. Now what will happen when we need the cell cycle activity to go on then what, what, we, what we do in this case we need we are having kinases. Now what we know kinases are proteins which can add phosphate group to other proteins. So kinase here it is called CDK or cyclin dependent kinase because this kinase will function only with the uh, when it's attached with the cyclin protein. So this cyclin dependent kinase or CDK uh, will activate the activation of the CDK eventually this cyclin dependent kinase will phosphorylate this retinoblastoma protein. Now as this kinase is phosphorylating this retinoblastoma protein this retinoblastoma protein will no longer have the affinity to attach with E2F. So it loses the affinity, retinoblastoma protein leave the place. Then what will happen? E2F become free. So E2F becomes free and E2F becomes activated. Because in previous time, retinoblastoma acts as a repressor for E2F. But now the retinoblastoma protein is uh, being phosphorylated and deactivated. So now E2F is becoming activated. Now E2F can start transcription. So it will go and start trans transcription. Now this E2F definitely is not a polymerase, so it's a factor, it's an enhancer for the transcription of a particular gene. Now it enhances the transcription and production of some encoded protein which will in turn sense the cell or tell the cell to go from G1 phase to S phase. So normally the cells in the previous time which were in the G1 stage, arrested in the G1 stage, now will go to the S stage and then uh, G2 and then mitotic phase will be occurred and the cell will divide into two new daughter cells. That's how the cell division cycle is controlled by the cyclin dependent kinase and these other protein factors. So suppose in the in the normal cell everything is tightly regulated but now what happens cyclin dependent kinase is activated throughout all the time. So some mutation in the CDK proteins will lead to the activation of cyclin dependent kinase in a state that in turns all the time phosphorylates the retinoblastoma protein. So there shouldn't uh, normal case what, what we need that retinoblastoma should block E2F but all the time due to the mutation in CDK it will phosphorylate PRB. So as a result all the PRBs are phosphorylated so no PRB can blo block E2F. So E2F is free for the activity. Now E2F will always active in those cells and they will start producing all the proteins and then those cells will start dividing. So this kind of mutations, we call it the, the uh, what we can say, this type of mutations in the growth regulatory proteins like E2F, PRB and also cyclin dependent kinase most importantly here will lead to the generation of cancerous cells from the normal cell. Okay, so this is an example of the mutation in the growth regulatory gene. I hope this will help you. Thank you.